Environmental law is the law of environmental problems. There are lots of different types of environmental problems, from deforestation and species extinction to pollution and climate change. These types of problems can be hard to get your head around. They often require in-depth scientific knowledge as well as understanding the social political complexities that environmental problems give rise to. Plus, they require you to try to predict the future. A good way to start thinking about environmental problems is to take a more limited example. Imagine a public street in a residential neighbourhood. To begin with, there are just a few cars parked on the street. But over time, the numbers of cars in the street grow. Maybe more people are living there, or there is lack of public transport, or more people are visiting to shop and work. At some point, there are far more cars looking for places to park than there are parking spaces available. This is what Garrett Harding called a tragedy of the commons, where individuals acting rationally overuse a common resource. Similar types of issues are explored in the fields of economics, psychology, game theory and areas of environmental law. A widely recognised way of addressing a tragedy of the commons is for a government to introduce regulation. For example, to deal with this specific problem, governments could create laws that limit who is allowed to park and for how long. Other environmental laws do a similar thing. For example, laws are passed to limit the pollution that can be discharged into the air or to restrict how much a natural resource can be used. Environmental laws, though, quickly become complex. They exist at the national and international level. They can take different forms and involve communities managing resources themselves. Most importantly, environmental law must operate in a fair and just way that is consistent with other laws in the legal system. While environmental laws can't work miracles or be a magic wand, it is necessary in any society committed to environmental protection. A first step towards this is to read about the complexities of environmental problems and environmental law. This video was made in collaboration with Elizabeth Fisher, Professor of Environmental Law at Corpus Christi College and the University of Oxford and author of Environmental Law, A Very Short Introduction.